If you're looking to find public speaking opportunities the easy way, keep watching. The first way I recommend that you drive publicity and visibility to what you're doing as a business, if you're building a movement, if you're doing something that is really exciting, that has a great vision and you want to share that with a, a large audience, reach out to me. I would love to interview you. So that's the first way I can interview you into our uh, community. Uh, for the One Drop movement, we currently have 832 members in there and that is growing every day. The second way to get lots of visibility and credibility and trust to your brand is to go to a group on Facebook, which is called uh, Podcast Guests. So you, that's what it looks like. You can go in there um, and they are looking for guests for their podcasts. And quite often podcasters also run summits and they speak on other stages. They have other platforms. So if somebody has a podcast, it's usually to be a voice of an industry in which they are across other platforms and are doing other things. So podcast guest. The other place actually to go to is if you go into Facebook and type in, oh, there you go, where I, I was just searching for that to show you, uh, podcast guest collaboration community. So it's called Find a Guest, Be a Guest. So go and, um, and request to be a part of that because they are also looking for uh, for guests as well. So you'll see people, if they're putting themselves forward, they'll say hashtag be a guest. If someone's looking for a guest, they'll use the hashtag find a guest. So as you can see, this guy is looking for somebody who's an expert in uh, Google and SEO. Uh, this person here is looking for uh, people that are all about travel. This person is looking for uh, people who can talk about psychology and mindset, menstrual cycles, body image and self-love. So there's lots of different, you see how there's so many different people here that are launching podcasts and, you know, don't look at somebody who's just launching something and think, oh, well, they, you know, they haven't got a big audience yet, so I'm not going to speak on there. Um, first of all, I would say every opportunity that you have to speak, there will be something that comes out of your mouth that is a new thing in your unconscious that um, that maybe surprises you or you think, oh, that was really good. I've never shared that before. I'm going to now include that in my messaging when I'm, when I'm talking to other people about it. Uh, the other thing is that when somebody is new to something, when they're creating a new show or a new podcast, that's when they're the most excited about it. Therefore, that's when they're going <laughs> to drive it the, the hardest. It's when they've done, you know, 20, 30 or 200 of them that they're uh, not as proactive with their promotion as they are at the very beginning. So that's another great reason. And the third reason is to just start opening your mouth and getting that experience because when you are on something that really matters, you'll already have tons of experience behind you. So even if you're a professional speaker, it's still good to keep building that speaking muscle and not to get complacent with it. Uh, you never know who that person is whose next door neighbor might be listening in that could be your dream client, whose best friend or brother or sister, or they have a conversation with you on the, the interview and you say something that really resonates with them and they happen to be talking to somebody and their reticular activator is going, you're in the front of their memory and now they're recommending you. So you want to spread that seed of your message as far and wide as you can and water it and grow it and nurture it by speaking as much as you can about it. So there are a couple of ways you can do it. Another way is to use uh, Twitter. And on Twitter, if you don't have an account, just go grab an account. You, it's not necessarily uh, massively important that you are growing a Twitter following, but you can use Twitter to do your research. So for example, if you type in hashtag journal request, or hashtag journal requests, so there's a singular and plural version of this, you can see what uh, journalists are actually looking for. So uh, let's go to uh, search Twitter. I'm going to type in hashtag uh, journal request just to show you the process in case you're not looking, you're not sure. Um, so there's journalists that are looking for different experts who 
are in all kinds of different areas from all different walks of life. They may be looking for a comment to go into a, a newspaper. They might be looking for um, an article. They might be looking for an interview. So that this is another way. So remember, there's two feeds here that are totally different and different um, journalists are looking uh, for different things on both of these. So even if you just spent 15 minutes a day at the beginning of every day, just doing your research, going into, if you all you did for 15 minutes was go into these four areas, um, look to see what people are looking for and put yourself forward for at least one thing. If you put yourself forward for at least one thing for the next 30 days, you won't get everything. But you might end up with five really good interviews. You might end up with one amazing interview or one interview that happens to be the change that you want to see in the world and reaches another person who happens to be listening to it and they've got a show and then they invite you because they really enjoyed listening to you. So just keep spreading that seed of your brand, spread that joy, spread that message, spread that vision far and wide and be committed to the change you want to see in the world, be committed to the results you want to create, be committed to serving and supporting people to get what they want and need and be in the mindset of it doesn't matter if they reject me or if they say no or even if they ignore me none of that matters I'm not attached to that as my outcome what I'm attached to is the result of getting one or two bookings that get my voice get my message get my expertise get my story get my pains problems challenges fears fuck ups whatever it is you've been through Get it out there as much as you can because there are lives out there that need you in it. And even if there's somebody else in the world, even if there's a million people in the world that are talking about the same thing as you, forget all of that. Turn down the noise and the volume of that because there is a whole audience of people that are listening to what's out there right now and they think it's good content, but they're not in love with the person who's delivering it. So this is your chance to to really attract all those people that are waiting for your voice to be the one that shows up. If you've loved today's video, please do hit that subscribe button. Make sure you're the first to receive any new tips and advice and tricks and tools, things that I'm sharing. I've got some great ideas of things that I'm gonna be creating for you that are coming up. So make sure you subscribe so you're the first to hear about them. And if you want to take part in more of the stuff that we're doing and really get involved, uh, go across to the How to Build a Brand group on Facebook, where every single day I'm sharing new advice and strategies and tools and how to's and all kinds of stuff into the group. Uh, and so you could be receiving those as well. If you want to just stay here, stay here, subscribe, and you'll hear from me here. But if you do want to come and be a more active part of the community that I'm building with thousands of entrepreneurs in there already, come across to how to build a brand on Facebook. I'll make sure that I put the links here for you and you can go straight across. Have an amazing day and go out there, be that brand you wish to see in the world. I'll see you in the next show.